start adding in a little bit of unconventional resources. Welcome back to Making Everyday Magic. My name is Shauna, and if you are new here, we are a homeschooling family of four. We're in our seventh year of homeschooling. We have a sixth and a second grader. Today, I want to share with you some amazing resources straight from YouTube. Before we go any further, guys, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. As always, you can find me right on down in the comments or over on Instagram at Making Everyday Magic. We are in that weird time where we are about four, five, six weeks past break, and we're about four, five, six weeks until spring break, if you take one. We are in the dark times, and it is important when you are in the dark times, in the season where everything just feels harder and a struggle and every break is far away, that you freshen it up. You add some fun things. You throw in some stuff you didn't have otherwise. And you start utilizing some of those resources that allow you to outsource a little bit. And so because of that, I am coming here today to share with you my personal top 10 YouTube resource channels. Now, this is not all of them. We utilize many more YouTube resource channels. However, I am just giving you a list to start with. So what I need you to do, what we all need you to do is to scroll on down to the comments, head over to Instagram, do whatever it is, but let's grow this list because as many of you know, this is the internet and things live forever. So if you can come here and find this video specifically, Five years from now, there will be a list that will help guide you. For the people who are starting out next year in 10 years, who are secular homeschoolers, who are struggling, who need these things, there will be a list here for them because we have helped to grow it. So I am just giving a starting off point. I am not here to tell you that it is great, that it is comprehensive, that it is all of it. Absolutely not. I am here to tell you we we like a crowdsource, okay? It is not just me giving you information, guys. You give me information and we share together and together we grow as a group. So do not hesitate to scroll down and be like, hey, there's this other awesome thing. Now, I can tell you, YouTube likes to hold links. So if you can just give the name and not necessarily the specific link to it, and maybe like a short, great for science, great for five to seven, like anything like that, great for third grade, anything like that, just a little snippet of what it is, where we can find it, and then also what it's good for, best for, let me know. Or, or let's flip it and say, avoid this because this was garbage. This was uh, sneaky indoctrination. This was not what we loved. We found out these people were absolutely horrible. Any of that would be also good to know because again, crowdsourcing the information here helps us grow and grow together. So now, Okay, instead of standing here and listening, I'm going to pop over and show you the specific sites. We're gonna talk about them just a little bit. And of course, we are going to kick this off with David Halafmi and History for the Ages because I just, I love him. I love him, I love his channel. Uh, he now has uh, Teachers Pay Teachers resources available. He was part of my giveaway for Christmas. I just, I love him, I love him. So that's where we're starting with my favorite resource, my favorite educational YouTube resource person that I actually know. Let's pop over and check out David. Okay guys, as promised, as promised, we're gonna start with David over at History for the Ages. He's like my uh, history professor YouTube bestie. Absolutely love him. I love his resources. It is a little bit more for Older kids, I would say middle and high school, keep in mind he's a college history professor. However, my little one does sit and enjoy watching his videos. Um, it's really simple. It's just usually him with a talking head and, you know, talking head style video, which is just standing like talking to the screen. Um, and then uh, he will have some... Hey everyone, welcome back. Okay, so David this is the common the style so of his YouTube videos where it's got him in, uh, in a little, and, little know, tiny square and the then um, infographics yes, nuance, as needed um, yes, to illustrate his point. But he's amazing. He's grown quickly because he has valuable information. He delivers it clearly and well. And I think he's an amazing resource, especially for those later grades of history. Next up, we have 
Steve Spangler's Science. Now, this specifically specific channel is Six Science, but he's got several different um, several different channels. Um, basically, it's amazing and fun and awesome video science experiments, which I think is so fun. Playlist here, DIY science, science minute, science short, Steve on the news, food science, holiday science, science with sugar. So if there are some of those things where you want to, um, and I'm super guilty of this, I'm not, I don't want to do all the things, but here, watch the thing so that you get the understanding of the thing without me having to do the thing or buy the stuff to do the thing. I know that you guys can really feel me on that. Now, Math is a drag. I actually found this on Instagram, uh, but there's a, a corresponding YouTube channel. There is nothing so simple as these little, like, you know, 90 second explanations of really complex math topics. And first of all, she's fabulous. Love her. Makeup is amazing and deserves all of the amazing wonderfulness that comes along with being able to entertainingly and simply explain concept math facts, this, I'm all about this. So yes, math is drag, fantastic, love it, total, again, 90 seconds. You can explain complex things to me in 90 seconds and it helps me teach math. Yes, please. And thank you. Now, TED Ed. TED Ed is basically TED Talks for kids. Uh, so lessons worth sharing. So it's animated. It's fun. They do, you know, can you solve the hat riddle? What's depression? Big stuff, little stuff. And it's a great way to do it. As you can see, they're all, you know, really short. I don't see a single one on here. It's over 15 minutes. So it's short. It's easy. It's, uh, covers big, big topics, which I think is really important for kids to be able to have things. Electoral college explained. That one's going to be really important. So look, elections, hidden figures, black history, how to avoid a climate disaster. Let's talk about sex. I mean, you don't want to do it. Let's outsource that. Uh, bugs life. I mean, there's a lot of things in here, simple, but complex, but an entertaining delivery. And I am all for that in life. Now, I did PBS slash PBS Kids because PBS is also an amazing resource. And maybe your kids are a little old for PBS Kids, but PBS is one of those things. If I turn on, my, I keep my, my personal television tuned on PBS. And when I turn it on, I get sucked in. I cannot tell you the amount of times I have watched, you know, two Antiques Roadshow episodes without even realizing it because I'm so obsessed with just the history and the things that come on. I can't. It is so amazing. Oh, super wise comic book adventures. I didn't know they had that. I love, oh, they're doing Super Y again. I love Super Y. Oh, gosh. Anyways, okay. Oh, and they have kids podcasts, guys. Okay, PBS Kids. I don't, I don't, I don't need to, I don't need to lobby for them. You know about them. They're amazing. National Geographic Kids, ditto. National Geographic, National Geographic Kids. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Again, you don't need me to tell you why it's amazing. You know why it's amazing. It's so fun. They have the entire Weird But True series. My kid is obsessed with Weird But True. Okay. Look at this. Yes. Okay. Yes. I don't watch it. I do not watch enough PBS and National Geographic. I need to get better, be a better person. Okay. Crash course. Again. Again. Look, just, okay. All free. And these are most of them because they do have crash course kids. Okay. So that's like third to fifth. And then these are like high school level, but we use them because they're amazing and they're entertaining and they've got animation and they're quick and they're whatever. They're fantastic. So playlist over here. What do you want to learn about? Boom. What is it? What do you want to learn about? You tell me, what is it? You want to learn about biology? We got that. We got an old one and a new one. You want to learn about organic chemistry? Boom. Got that. You want to learn about zoology? Boom. Got that. You want to learn business entrepreneurship? Okay. European history? Yes, please. Recess? That's probably just fun stuff. Let's see. What else? Media literacy? Okay. Let's talk about statistics. All right. Um, anatomy and physiology, U.S. government and politics. Yeah, economics, okay, philosophy, world history. We're currently using mythology. Guys, I just, okay. And also they have Crash Course Kids. So it is an amazing, you know what? Let me go show you that because I think that's important. That is not what I wanted. Is that what I wanted? No, where, where, are, my, where are my links, people? Where are my links? Let's see, Um, is it here? It's not here. I don't know where it is, but you can trust me. It's amazing. Okay. Absolutely amazing. Look at this. How, study hall, history, social science, crash course, 
amazing and valuable. And I like that they've gone back and started kind of reproducing some of the older things like biology. We've got a whole new, a whole new playlist being added to homeschool pop is so cool. I don't know why or how, but it is, oh, learn the 50s. That's fun. It is such a fun way to learn things. Um, it is just, it's well-produced little short videos. Like you see 10, 11 minutes. Oh, this one's a, a ripe old 13. Quick, entertaining. And these are those things that I add to, okay, we've got a lesson. And then I Google a little more. The homeschool pop videos are the ones that come up and we add to it that way. And it's amazing and it's fun and we enjoy it very much. So homeschool pop. Yes. Absolutely. Landmarks for kids. Ooh, I should look at that one for our upcoming trip. Leaning Tower Pisa for kids. Yes. Yes. Look at all this fun stuff. Black History Month for kids. States for kids. Facts about the brain. Here we go. Sesame Street. Another one that does not need me to tell you why. Because Sesame Street. Okay. Because you can watch Sesame Street in, I don't even remember how many different languages Sesame Street. Uh, or how many different countries Sesame Street is produced in and then released in how many languages, I cannot tell you. But what I can tell you, Sesame Street, okay? It is amazing. You you don't even, you I, there's no explanation needed. You know why, okay? It's, it, you know why. There, here, want to learn some American Sign Language? There you go. You, you know why. Sesame Street is amazing. Okay, one that you may not have heard about is Peekaboo Kids. Now, Peekaboo Kids is so fun. We, again, in Googling things on specific or various topics, we've watched a few of these videos. This little blobby thing, I don't know what he is, but he's called Dr. Binox. And he has like a British Indian accent. My kids love these videos. They are so entertained with these videos. It's another one where there's a short, they get to the point. They answer the question on hand. My kids love these videos. I have I have no idea why. They're I mean they're entertaining. They're colorful. They're great. Uh, but they just that I I don't know. But it works and it is wonderful and it is an amazing resource to add to our homeschool. Mystery science. Now we do pay for the subscription to Mystery Science to do all of their videos and lesson plans and all of that things. But they have an absolute 211 videos here on their channel with mystery Doug, uh, that you can access and resource totally for free. So don't snooze on what is offered for free from a lot of the places that do have some sort of payment or subscription service. We love mystery science, but if you want just a hint of that without actually, uh, going full fledged in with subscription, then this would be for you. However, I can tell you that full fledged and for subs subscription, absolutely, totally, and amazingly worth it, even if you just pop it out every once in a while. So good. Okay. So those are my choices. Again, not all of them. Uh, just my, my, my kind of highlight reel. So we've got David Halakmi over at History for the Ages for like, you know, a little bit more upper grade history. We've got Six Science with Steve Spangler virtual science experiments, math is a drag, simple explanations of complex math topics, so fun, delivered by a drag queen, Ted Ed, lessons we're sharing on all kinds of things, animated and amazing, PBS Kids, amazing resource, as well as PBS. So it's PBS, PBS Kids, so PBS in general, I just showed you PBS Kids. Nat Geo, same thing, Nat Geographic Kids, also Nat, Nat National Geographic, like regular, and this is more like science, social studies, things like that, crash course. It, just crash course, crash course kids. They have topics on, I mean, everything, just everything. Homeschool pop, simple videos, again, topics on everything, just such a wide array. You can definitely, you definitely need something on their site. It just is what it is. Sesame Street is amazing for early learning and for things that you need, you know, supplements, especially for foreign language, ASL, things like that. Amazing. Peekaboo Kids, again, topics on everything, just random questions your kids have when you Google it. These are the videos to use. Mystery science, again, science, super fun. An amazing resource available for free from people who do in fact charge, but these, this is what they've made available for free. I hope that you found this list helpful, entertaining, or informative. If you did, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. As always, 
please scroll down, give us your feedback. What do you have to add to this list? Let us know, please, because we're gonna grow this list based on your recommendations. I do not even pretend to know everything that is out there. I don't know a fraction of what is out there. There have been so many things that have come to me through you and you're an amazing resource to me. So let's get the conversation going. Let's grow this list. Let's make it amazing. Let's help out those who are with us in the trenches and those who are coming after us. Guys, don't forget, down in the comments or over on Instagram, both places, super awesome to start growing the list or maybe both so that we've got it on multiple platforms would be amazing. Guys, that's it. I hope you found it helpful. As always, I hope that your favorite homeschool mom secular resource is me, but I do actually frequently partner up with some other secular homeschool moms and they are a wealth of information to me. So don't forget to check those out when we do do collabs and fun things like that because a homeschool mom resource is just as important as a homeschool education resource. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.